Hey guys, Milk Cooks and Games here. Welcome to a, a, another episode of our Gates of Hell Game Editor tutorial series. Um, welcome to episode 15. Uh, so, continuing on, continuing on from our previous video, uh, the Ultimate Beach Landing, um, I'm going to teach you guys how to create an endless beach landing where there's um, constant waves of troops landing on the beach. So the setup is pretty much identical to the previous video. Um, so I recommend you check out that previous video, uh, have a better understanding on, on how to script the units and the boat um, once they hit the shore. Um, so it's the same process, except when we do the boat scripting, it's a little bit different, okay? Um, so um, in today's video, I'm actually gonna show you two methods that you can use to create the same effect. So let's do method one. Obviously you're gonna need a boat. Uh, let's get a vehicle crew. Awesome. Give the boat a tag. And a hidden tag. We have our units over here. We will also give them a tag. We will now then put them in the boat. All right. Next, we'll do the waypoints as they while they're getting in. Um, so same process as before. Um, ensure that the waypoints are sitting underneath the water so we don't have any issues when the uh, the boat spawns. Position the boat where you want it to land. Um, for the Higgins boats, it actually uses where the rudder, the rudder is of the boat. Um, that's where actually the waypoint stops, where it stops. So if you put it, the waypoint sitting just under the rudder of the ship or the boat, I should say. When it hits that waypoint, that's where it will be, right? The rudder will be in the exact same spot. Uh, as the waypoint okay so use that as your reference where you're placing the boat i hope that makes sense finally the last waypoint will be the return waypoint just going to put the delete key on that one delete command i should say and while we're here, we'll do the infantry waypoints as well. And you can sort of see how I've done it with the other ones. Um, obviously, if you don't know how to do the linking, left click a waypoint and then hold shift and the other one, and then click link and it'll link it. Um, go check out my patrol video. And I go a little bit more in depth in the linking bit of the waypoints. All right, so I'm going to quickly do the um, scripting for the boat, for the, sorry, for the infantry to disembark. Not really going to explain it because I did it in the previous video. So um, if you haven't watched that video, then go watch it and it'll be a bit more in depth explanation on how to do it. Enemy MG! 
With the two different methods, there is a little difference actually, and I will show you when we have both of these methods going at once. But I will show you there is a, a uh, slight difference. Alright. Okay, so that's done. That should work. We'll come to our triggers tab. We create the trigger for the boat. In the conditions box, we're going to select entities. Give it the boat tag. In the state, we want operable, which means that it's in working order. Um, now, I've tried the greater signs, and for some reason, it does not work. Um, you have to put the less than signs. Um, and you can honestly put really anything, doesn't really matter. Um, so we'll put five. That's done. Then you go to your commands box, right click your other actor to waypoint. Give it the boat tag. Waypoint in this case, I believe is 32. Is that correct? That is correct. Click clone and save teleport and rotate. Next, we want an actor state. Again, give it the boat tag. Use whatever settings you want. Um, then you want a delay of 60 seconds. Now, 60 seconds is definitely too short, at least for this beach uh, map. Um, but I'm going to demonstrate to you the issue with method one. Okay. So we'll put 60 seconds and then you want to trigger and select the appropriate one. But now that's done, let's give it a go and hopefully it works first time. We are going to fast forward, which you can do by pressing backspace. So far, so good. All right, now I'm going to demonstrate to you the issue with method one. Obviously, it's really easy to fix. It's just longer delays. Obviously, 60 seconds is for the sake of the tutorial, but you never know, depending on what you guys want to create in your missions. This is the issue you get. Um, you could also fix it by spreading the waypoints out a bit more. But you can see how the other boat stops this from moving until he passes. Uh, another issue actually is when that boat gets to the waypoint, if this boat hasn't deleted in time, You'll see that the commands on that trig on that waypoint will then activate for this boat here because they share the same tags. Okay, so obviously it's an easy fix. Um, the first issue being you move the waypoints further away. Um, obviously that then creates an issue where you can't have as many boats or longer delays. Okay, so that's how you fix that issue. We're just going to delete these for the sake of the issue we don't have the issue you can see it's just going to keep spawning every 60 seconds um, for some reason they get stuck in the water right. cool. so hopefully that obviously shows method one um, again, you can fix those issues quite easily, but 
those issues are there. Um, awesome. So the next method is method two, okay, which uh, is, is one I use most often. We're going to use this boat here. All the scripting's done. We just got to do the scripting for the boat. Okay. So what you want to do is go the commands box, right click add. You want to go to other, oh, sorry, generic while entities. Give it the boat tag. Same process, less than, put five and operable state. Then right click on the while command, add inside, actor to waypoint. Same setup as before, boat tag, clone. Um, let me grab that waypoint because I don't know it. 19. Right click, add inside, actor state. Uh, I just realized I put the wrong tag. I'll fix that. Return. Okay, so we were using LCVP4. Um, awesome. <laughs> I just got to make sure I do the right one. Add inside. You want to delay of 60. Now for method two, it actually doesn't matter what delay you put. Um, and I'll show you why. Um, obviously, we're just going to put 60. Trigger. Sorry, let me do that one again. So what you want to do is right click outside the while command, add inside, then do the trigger. Okay. And then, and then select the appropriate one. That's it. That's method two. Again, we'll fast forward and then I'll show you why the delay does not matter. All right, so as you know, with method one, as soon as that boat's done doing its its job and it starts turning around. You saw before that the boat then spawns another one, right? Another boat spawns right about now or something like that. There you go. Oh, and that one did it too. Okay, there you go. Yeah, right. Okay. Interesting. That is interesting. <laughs> I was actually going to show you that it actually, this boat wouldn't spawn until that one's deleted. Um, that's odd. That's really odd. There you go, guys. I'm full of shit. Literally was working before. Uh, let me see something. Yeah, right. Okay. I just want to uh, restart and test that again because when I was testing it before recording method two, the boat would not uh, spawn until the boat actually got deleted off the map. So I don't know why it's doing something different now, but that is okay. Unless we change it to two. That's what I set for. Let's try again. I'm curious now. It's weird. <laughs> oh, there you go. So it's dependent on what number you put. There you go. So you can see that one stopped. So I put two. 
And maybe it's got to do with how many infantry are left in the boat. That's what it looks like. And then, boom, that was spawn. But that actually solves the issue from um, method one. Um, but then, actually, thinking about that, actually makes me think. If we change the number value in method one to two as well, does that actually do the same thing? Because obviously, while, while the looks of things, it looks like it's dependent on how many units are in the boat. So, if we change this from 5 to 2, and we try again, fast forward. Look at that. We're learning together, guys. We're learning together. How good is that? Okay, so a boat hasn't spawned. So it's it's dependent on how many soldiers are actually in the boat. There you go. I think that's pretty cool. So, <laughs> uh, but apart from that, it will just continually spawn every sixty seconds. So when these get deleted. There you go, guys. A new boat was spawned. How good is that? We've solved our issues. <laughs> I'll, um... Yeah, how good is that? That's awesome. Cool. I will leave this in the video then. <laughs> um, you know, it's good. It, this shows you um, how to solve things if you come across issues uh, in the editor. You know, it's all about understanding how things work and and uh, a bit of brain power and, and you'll figure things out so how good's that all right since uh actually turned out pretty good I'll uh, I'll show you what it looks like with all the boats together because it's actually quite cool How many have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six boats with 30 dudes in each of them. <laughs> Do the math. I'm not very good at math, so. Pretty cool. I will admit. That one accidentally went too far. Let's help him out a bit. Whoops. Actually, what are the, are the delays on that one? 124. Okay. So those ones won't spawn for a little bit. And there you go, guys. There is an endless beach battle. Um, these guys will keep spawning um, until you tell them not to and turn off the script. Oh. How good's that? Um, maybe I'll do a battle on this map and uh, I'll do a full on. Beach battle on this map. 
uh, later on. But um, how good is that, guys? So actually, I can actually go through here and change it all of them. Since we've solved our little issue, because I was having that issue before, and yeah. Now I understand. I'm very happy about that. That's awesome. Anyway, guys, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something just like I did because I did. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to create limited waves. So not unlimited, but limited. So let's just say, for example, you wanted four waves and only four waves to spawn. Then that's what we'll be doing in the next video. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that'll be the next video. Um, also, part four of our mapping creation series will be coming out soon. Um, I have not forgotten about that series. We will finish this map, or that map. Uh, the Crossing is what it's called. So if you haven't seen those videos, go check it out. Um, and then once the map is finished, we will then actually do a mission on the map, and I'll show you how to create a mission from start to finish. Um, with cutscenes, you know, dialogue, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hope it's not too long. If you have any questions um, or any issues, feel free to put it in the uh, comment section below, and I'll do my best to help you guys out. Uh, but apart from that, guys, have a good day, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.